and welcome back to the Feel Good Scoliosis 30 Day Challenge. We are on day 24, oh my god, and we are going to be working on our core and our glutes today. So you're going to need your mat and yourself and the smile. <laughs> And we're going to come and lie down. So put your paws if you need to grab a mat quickly. So lying down onto your mat, you can get some traction through your spine. So you can hold onto your mat and maybe wiggle yourself up a little bit. Try and keep your natural curves in your lower back though, your lordosis. We want to keep this. Then you can take a couple of deep breaths here. Maybe thinking about your concave areas, if you know where they are, making sure that your hips feel level. Then I want you to take a really big inhale and exhale out through your mouth. Well, this helps to engage our deep core muscles. Again, big inhale, and then exhale out through the mouth. Squeezing these tummy muscles in. One more time, big inhale, big exhale through the mouth. Then at the end of that exhale, lift the feet off the ground and Tensing all this just like you were in your exhale, having your ankles in line with your knees, your toes flexed, and again, check your body. Try and make sure we got our hips and our ribs as equal as possible. Then you're going to take your hands, we're going to go straight into our core exercise. We're going to push our hands into our knees and our knees into our hands, and holding here, breathing and think about your tummy muscles, squeezing them as hard as you can, drawing your front ribs down towards the mat, but keeping your lumbar curve, your lordosis, the natural curve of the lower back. <sighs> See if you can get those big exhales out through the mouth. It will help you to work your core more. Big inhales, exhales through the mouth. <sighs> Big inhales, exhale through the mouth. One more time, big inhale, then exhale through the mouth. Well done from here, we're just gonna take our hands to our ribs, still squeezing your tummy muscles, and we're gonna come into foot taps. So you're gonna gently start to lower the left heel down towards the ground, being careful that you don't lose any integrity of your belly so your ribs and your core are staying on as you slowly tap your heel down one foot at a time and it's just gentle movements we're not in a race we're not in a race we're taking it slow we want to take things slow make sure that we're not losing our form because we're also trying to hold our hips and hold our ribs still which is extra hard when you have scoliosis so it's totally okay if you're finding this difficult the more practice you get the better it gets we want to keep squeezing these core muscles as hard as you can and you can even get those deep breaths you would inhale as you lower the foot and then exhale through the mouth inhaling as you lower the foot Exhaling through the mouth. Two more, you got this. Really hopefully feeling those core muscles engage, warm, getting stronger, and then relax. Oh my gosh. I can feel it guys, I can feel it, I hope you can too. Then we're going to go into glute bridges. So glutes are our bum muscles, we want to strengthen them up as well. So with our glute bridges it's really important that we keep this strong core and we don't let the rib cage flare up towards the ceiling. 
So you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. We can do the big inhale with the exhale again. So you're going to inhale deep into your belly. And then exhale through the mouth. Squeezing your core. And then push your hips up towards the ceiling. And you're pushing through these muscles, trying to keep this all tight with your ribs in line with your pelvis. Then you slowly come down, tap the hips to the mat. And then, oof, back up, squeeze the bum muscles, gently lowering the hips down. And then back up, focusing on your glutes, trying to wake them up, trying to get them to do all of the work. I know they can be sleepy, especially if we spend a long period of time in the day sitting down. So it's time to wake them up. They're gonna be really, really good muscles for helping us maintain a strong body, a strong core, and a strong scoliosis curve, and fusion as well. It's important for all of us. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get five more. Pushing those hips up, squeezing the glutes, gently tapping down, pushing up, squeezing the glutes, gently tapping down. Let's get three more. Oof, my glutes are on fire right now. Good, one more time. Big squeeze, and then gently lowering down. Oh, Good, well done. You can gently roll over to one side and let's just take a little bit of traction for our spine. So we can come into our puppy pose. We tuck the back toes under, send the hips back halfway between our knees and our ankles. And just walk the arms out in front, get a nice stretch through the spine. Ah, feels good. And then gently coming back up. I definitely recommend you keep repeating this, but I'm keeping the video short, so I'm gonna stop it here. Let's go for a fourth word for the competition. The fourth word is curvy. Curvy, curvy, curvy. So write that down, remember it. If you're entering the competition, there's three more words somewhere in my videos in front of this, so. We're almost there guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I will see you tomorrow.